so we have added doors so far and we are going to add windows let's just lock the doors layer and unlock the layer that is zero layer on which i have run the contours of this house and this is the advantage of working on there is that i can uh, lock either of them or the non-working or non-current layers so they won't bother me i'm going to trim the zeroth layer first uh, because i have added the doors and the um, house in front of the doors is going to be trimmed the walls that are going to be in front of the doors that they are going to be trimmed so for trimming i have selected the whole house and then after right clicking i am now trimming the contours and i don't have to worry about the doors being trimmed because i have uh, locked the doors layers so let's trim the walls in front of the doors Now the last door of this washroom. So my trimming is now done. Let me have a final look. Yes, it is done. And now make a new layer let's make a new layer for windows so i'm giving it the name of windows and i'm selecting mm, purple color or red color red color would be fine now let's just select the windows layer and let's make the windows so i am having here a rectangle of of 48 inches and 10 inches in Y now I'm going to make a line in the center and after this I'm giving it an offset distance of 3 inches now my window is done let's trim the center line from the offset portion of our window and let's just place it in our house so i'm placing it here and this is bigger for this place so i won't place this one i would place the other one i'll make a special one for this place we have so many standard sizes for the windows we can use multiple size in a single house depending upon the available space so i'm installing two of these windows one here and the other there so let's just place it where it is supposed to be I'm placing it mm, here because this would help in cross ventilating but I'm not satisfied with the uh, width of this window let's make another one mm, that is going to be relatively larger so another standard size that we have is 60 inches and 10 inches 10 inches because this is the width of our wall so i am having a rectangle of 60 by 10 
and then I have made a middle line and then I have given an offset of 3 inches so this is my new window and then I have trimmed this line from the offset area and I'm going to replace this window in the main hall as well and this is going to be 36 inches and 10 inches for the wall and 36 inches is the other standard size that a window can have so I am having this one for the room that doesn't have enough space to incorporate 60 inch window so I am doing the same thing giving an offset distance of 3 inches and then I am going to give the center line um, and then I am going to trim that center line or I can have the center line directly in the offset area so I am doing this in this way I won't have to trim the center line so these are my new windows I will use this the smallest one in this room where there is not enough space so let's place this one in that area now I'm going to adjust the position of this window for this I have turned off the object snap now I am going to move this one slightly there this is the second one that I drew and I have made the third one for the hall area so let's place it in the hall area So I made three windows for three different rooms and I have placed three different windows in three different rooms. And here will be the ventilation, exhaust fan of the kitchen. Now let's learn something about the layers. I can freeze or thaw a specific layer in all viewports. So say for example I am freezing or thawing the zero layer. Then it is going to hide from all the viewports that is from the model space and the paper space as well. So if it hides from the paper space, then it won't show in the print either. I have made a hedge layer of brown color and now I am going to use hedge command for solidly fiddling the contour. So hedge command and I am going to select the solid fill. So I am going to solidly fill this contour area with brown color. So I have hatched this and then I have uh, frozen this layer. So this won't show in the viewports. Now let's add the dimensions in this floor plan. For this I have opened the text style manager. Define a new text style with the name of floor plan and then we are going to select the writing for this floor plan. Usually architects use Helvica. Helvica is um, not in the AutoCAD but it's in your windows. So first let's see if our windows have Helvica and I think it doesn't so I'm just simply se selecting simplex.shx and shx is something that the AutoCAD has in it. Dot .shx text is the AutoCAD default text. So let's select Let's, let's make a new layer for dimensions and I am giving it in the name of text and I'm selecting yellow color for this. So let's make sure that the height of our text is okay. So I am here going to give it the size of one feed. One feed in my opinion should be okay. So let's just add the text here. Okay, I haven't changed the layer and the text is quite big. So let's just change the layer first. I am here and unlocking all the layers that I'm not using. That would make my work easier. 
so this is on the right layer now and let's just change the height let's first see the effect of the width so if I change the width here you can see the effect on the left side so I'm going to make it one again after giving some different values to show you the effect I have given one and now let's just change the height and I'm changing it to 0.5 feet and I have selected annotative also so 0.5 uh, inch uh, feet and let's now add the text and it looks fine now so this is going to be my washroom and this is the bedroom I'm going to call it bedroom 1 and I'm going to call this bedroom 2 this is going to be the washroom main washroom because this is accessible from the hall as well main hall as well this is going to be my kitchen now let's set these texts and this text as well now this portion is going to be the laundry area so let's name it I'm not considering the front part uh, as the interior so I'm not going to name it although it is the parking area of this house so let's give the dimensions now for this I'm going to go into the dimension style manager and let's click the dimension I am making a new dimension here so let's select new and give it a name of house now let's change some settings here so first of all from this line let's see if I can change something mm, no not really so let's move towards the symbols and arrows from here I am going to change the arrowhead so I'm going to make it first and second arrowhead is architectural tick and you can see what difference it's going to make the, these are the standard uh, forms in which dimensions are given and if I want I can change the leader as well so if I make an open leader it's going to be like this and if I select the close field it is going to be like this the fact is shown in the right side and uh, from this I have changed I think what I needed to change and let's move to text from here I am changing the um, text alignment let's make it aligned with the, the dimension line now let's just move to fit tab let's see what we can do there so these are the things I can change and let's just ok these settings now I am going to make another layer of dimensions although dimensions and anything that is redundant is saved on dev point layers layer because um, these are not printed when I'm going to get the final print so these should be saved on dev point layer but here I have made separate layers so well, I haven't selected dimensions here I'll select the dimensions here and let's see uh, you would notice that the ticks are really small so I'm going to change the size of the ticks I'm going to in go into the modify tab and then I'm going to go in the symbols and arrows and here I'm going to change the dimensions arrow size to this value and let's see if this is now okay I think the text size not okay so I am changing it again 
so let's go to modify and let's change the tick size even more so let's give the dimension again deleting to the old one and giving a new one now the tick size is okay I think we can give the dimensions inside the house because uh, usually they are given on dev point there and that doesn't show in the print and uh, as we have made separate layers we are going to freeze or th these layers um, so they won't show up that is all from today we will proceed in the next video thanks for watching